I see the moon. Ooh, did you see that? Did you see that? A couple of years ago, I was getting a tip of a red star nesting in a box. So me and my friend went up and get some amazing opportunities to photograph this beautiful bird. So. Uh, Again, I got a message from uh, a guy who has a cottage uh, up in the mountain uh, where he found a new uh, pair of red stars nesting in a box. So that is my main goal today, to go up there and hopefully photograph the beautiful red star. And yeah, so fingers crossed. Now I found the box and uh, they are back and forth feeding small chicks so this is really really nice. So now I just need to be here in a good distance just with my binoculars and check out uh, a little behaviors where it likes to land and yeah take advantage of that. But this is really really cool. It's so hard to to find a good place where I can place my hide hair in this steep slope. So what I needed to use was the pegs that comes with the tent to just uh, yeah push down the in the ground so it, it won't be moving. But it's like really tilting in in this slope here. But it works. It works. And I just need to find a good. I just needed to find a good place to place my chair so it doesn't like uh, be too uncomfortable because I'm going to be here for uh, several hours I guess so yeah but it works I really like this blind hair uh, it's so easy to take with me and really concealing all my my uh, silhouette and everything So now I just need to wait and see if the bird lands on this stick here. As I saw it did before I went into the nesting box. So let's hope. Female just sat on the stick a split second and then just went straight for the box. Looks like I need to be really quick. Oh, but this is really, really good. So good to see the red star again. It's such a beautiful bird. Sometimes there's a lot of waiting, especially waiting for the male. Seems like that is out there looking for food much more longer than the female. But it's the same as always. You have to have patience and wait, wait, wait. So I'm here with the D500 and the 500 millimeter. The bird is really small, so I need to have that reach, extra reach, to uh, to get uh, close enough. I don't want to be too close to the nest, even though I have the camouflage tent. I don't want to disturb it. So uh, I have this uh, 500 FR, but I'm using 5.6 uh, because there is the the twig that it's landing on is di diagonal and has Ooh, 
that was the mail just a split second there and it went in so I couldn't get any pictures but anyway uh, I'm using f.5.6 because I want a whole twig to be in focus there is a lot of uh, moss, this white moss thing, lichen, um, maybe it calls, I don't know, but uh, uh, it's uh, making a lot portion of the twig, so uh, if I'm using F4, I'm afraid that something would be uh, out of focus, but I want the whole thing to be in focus, therefore I'm using the 5.6, and ISO is 800 for the moment, it's overcast, uh, it's changing all the time because there is a lot of wind and the clouds are moving back and forth so but um, yeah sometimes I get the Sun in the background so we get the really glowing background and make the po uh, colors pop even more and that is so beautiful so if you have followed my channel for a while you know I I really like those uh, vibrant backgrounds Sometimes I use a, a twig, it's much more closer to me, they land there and then they go to this other twig. Uh, and that also is really good to like predict when they are here and I can be ready with my camera. But unfortunately sometimes they go just straight to the box from that other twig. But yeah, I got all night to be here. And the good thing is that I'm at a good enough distance so I'm not disturbing the bird and this camouflage tent is working really really well I see the male the male is sitting in a tree just fell down so hopefully he's found some food and will come up oh yeah 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 some feathers so not that beautiful as it was two years ago then I got it in tune they are much more in breeding plumage then but even so Now it's time to leave. I had a great, great day photographing this beautiful bird. And I hope you enjoyed the video as well. 
and until next time, I will see you. Bye.